Okay, so coming up, I've got for you a case study. Um, what I hope will be a fresh angle on feedback as a mechanism for learning, um, a tool I've got to share with you, and an invitation to participate in a community experiment. Um, so, starting with the case study, I had a client recently who wanted my help to get better at learning through feedback. So I offered to run a, a feedback workshop for them. As I was planning the workshop, I was thinking about my experiences with typical feedback training, which tend to focus on conversational feedback. Uh, the coach maybe shares some tools, people take them away and struggle to apply them in practice often. Um, and so I thought about why that was. I think what it boils down to is that there's many barriers to feedback and th that sort of typical feedback training might cut through some of those barriers for some people, but it doesn't kind of solve the complete problem. Um, so I wanted to go back to the original goal of getting better at learning through feedback and think about what other solutions might there be to that complex problem um, without focusing exclusively on conversational feedback. Um, because what is feedback? Feedback is any information that can be used as a basis of improvement. It's not exclusively conversational or written feedback. There are many possible pathways for feedback to flow through. Um, so I thought, well, let's get a bit more batty about feedback. Um, bats, of course, process many feedback loops to build a complete picture of their environment, and so can we. So it sort of alludes to Lynn Systems thinking um, talk earlier. And it made me think at this point about observability. I really enjoy the parallel here with the principles of observability, um, which I think can give us a more holistic way of thinking about feedback. So I came up with this tool, which I've called the lens of observability, which is essentially a taxonomy for feedback. Um, so it broadly categorizes types of feedback into three uh, categories according to the three pillars of observability. And the idea is that we use all three uh, consciously and deliberately, we use all three to build a more complete picture of ourselves, our work, our social systems, and we use all three to drive continuous improvement. So, metrics, first of all. Um, these are things we can measure. Um, they can be things associated with people or with technology, because we're thinking in sociological technical system terms. We need to adopt an objective uh, pattern of thinking when working with metrics. Logs, on the other hand, are a record of what happened in one part of the system. So we need to think um, in an interpretive way, because without interpreting logs, they're not useful to us. And that requires effort, and it requires skill. Traces, finally, are about understanding how one, something happening in one part of the system affects things elsewhere in the system. So we need to be integrative here. And so by implication, we need to harness different skills in order to work with these different types of feedback. So as reflective practitioners, we need to uh, think about our, our, capability, our feedback capabilities uh, much more broadly, you know, not just about conversational uh, feedback capabilities. And different tools are available to help us to do that. I'm just going to take a breath now. <laughs> um, okay, so how do we use it in practice? So I came up with an activity for the teams that I was working with to do, which used this tool, and, it, and the activity basically aimed to get them to explore where, why, and how their team used feedback, um, and to identify opportunities uh, to better exploit feedback. So it caused them to reflect on their capabilities around feedback by this sort of broad definition. And the, out the outcome were, was that the teams were engaged and they all produced unique outputs, as you'd expect, because every team is different. Um, but there was still quite a lot of focus on conversational feedback, which was a little bit disappointing. So I wanted to invite other people to use the tool. Um, and so I've shared a sort of package with you via this URL. I can give it to you in the lunch break if you don't get it now. Um, and, and you leave me some feedback on your experiences with it. Um, and so the idea is that between us, hopefully, we can um, learn um, about this tool and about uh, whether or not uh, 
this new angle on feedback can be helpful to us and maybe I can share the results at a future DevOps day. Um, so thank you very much. <laughs>